Hi, everybody. Welcome to Moonwater Tarot, if you have not been here before. And if you have, thank you so much and welcome back. And um, this is your daily reading for February 12th, 2017. And what I do is I try and focus on the main message or the main energy for the day for those that are watching. Um, obviously, it's somebody's birthday today. So in honor of that, I do like at the very beginning, I will pull a card for you from Doreen Virtue's Magical Messages from the Fairies and in honor of your birthday. So happy birthday for those born February 12th. And um, and then we'll get to the, the general reading. So, all right. So let me, you know, one of the words that I'm picking up, sometimes I'll pick up on words or energies for those that are born that day. And I'm getting the word creativity and manifesting. And so I feel that uh, the more clear you are and the more that you allow yourself to express your creativity, um, the sooner things will begin to manifest. So I feel like in this next year, this is your time to, um, I don't know, I just see like a, a, a flower opening, like it's your time to blossom, to express and to create what it is that you want. And that also starts with thinking and your thoughts. So let's just see if I can gain any more clarity on this message through um, the oracle cards. I will say this because some people, some people have written this. Yes, sometimes this message for your birthday does correlate with the day for those that don't even have a birthday. So that can happen. But okay. So let's see February 12th birthdays. Any additional messages? That will be important. Okay, I'm going with this one that kind of flipped over. Oh my gosh, let go. I think we just had this, if I'm not dreaming. It's so interesting how the cards are just seem to kind of repeating themselves to like keep sending a message. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. And I know I said this before when this card comes up, like when you hang on to something very strongly, you're not in the state of allowing. So let go because oftentimes people feel like, you know, we all like to have some kind of control in our lives as much as possible, but there's a lot that we don't have control over. Um, but some people do like to hang on, you know, where they're, you know, rigorously, um, uh, almost to the point of straining themselves and you're not letting the energy flow. And I feel like in this next year, the more you let go, the more you will create, the more you will manifest, the more you will embrace. And I always say this every time I see this card, it reminds me of the full card, the beginning of the major arcana, because I often see the full as a little bird. If you look at it, it almost like, you know, the way... Sometimes I'll see the fool as Romeo or, you know, even as an ice skater. But I just, oftentimes I see it as a bird taking off, leaving the nest, and I'm just focused on this nest. So you are preparing to take flight. As I focus on the wings and there's... um the bird here, which maybe some of you are waiting for like a sign to move forward with something. For some of you, this is your sign. So it's such a beautiful card. The green for me always represents growth. Um, it's a very also a uh, sign that reminds me of the Empress um, with all this nature and flowers around so maybe for some of you, it's getting outdoors more. 
especially if you're in a very wintry area. Um, I, we just had snow here yesterday, so, um, so things will be blossoming. Okay, so let's get to the, the messages for the day and for everybody and see what I pick up for February 12th. For those that are watching, what are the most important messages? The most important messages. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that flew out, so I'm going to turn this over. The Page of Wands. Okay, so that's at the center. When something like that happens, I just go with the flow. And I'm going to go ahead and put a card here. We have the Hermit in the challenge position. Oh my gosh, the Hierophant again. Oh wow. Okay, and let's see what's underneath. The Nine of Wands, not again. Um, wow. You know, it's very interesting because this is very much kind of a protective, defensive stance. What I do like about this card, though, is that it's the nine. It's coming to an end. So I almost feel like guarding and protecting. There's a strong message with this and the control issue. And this may also be, I'm hearing... This may be somebody in your life that is trying to control a situation or control you in some way. And so I can see this as the person controlling you, but I can also see as this as you taking your stance as if you're not putting up with this anymore. You're... Um, you're on the defense or they're on the defense, but you're also setting your boundaries and protecting your space in your area. Let me just see here. You know, it's interesting that we have the, the page of wands. Well, let me get the cards arranged here so you can see them even better. Um, I always like to do that. Plus, the cards are just so beautiful. Um, I like you to see them up close. So, I'm going to probably lower the tripod, too. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. You know what I just realized, too, is that we actually do have two nines in this reading. Um, oftentimes, for me, two nines represent self-reflection. Um, taking time to yourself. Obviously, um, I want to say this. I feel like Taurus may have some meaning for some of you. I'm also very much feeling Virgo may have some meaning. And then with the Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Because we do have wands here. Um... I think it's going to be very important that some of you do take time out for yourself on February 12th to kind of self-reflect and figure out what it is that you want to do or what direction you want to go in. And this can be definitely in work. Um, this may be an actual move. Uh, this may be definitely in love. Um the way I'm seeing this is, this is also, look, this person has been wounded. They are not, in my eyes, feeling very well. There's some kind of ailment, could be a physical ailment, mental, emotional, um, but there's courage in this. And I feel like this is you, but as I was saying earlier, um, I can also see it as somebody that may be trying to, um, I don't know. I just feel like 
Oftentimes when I look at this card, it is very kind of dark and stormy. This could be somebody that is, you know, waiting or observing or watching to see what your next move is. Um, it, like I said, okay, when I'm reading for thousands of people, it could definitely be the opposite. Whereas maybe you're um, having the courage and the strength to stand up for yourself. Um, I'm also getting with the Hierophant, this might be a test of, um, you're being tested somehow or a test of resilience or a test of faith. And I think what's important is that with the Hermit card here, and this is in the challenge position, that, um, there is a need to kind of go within and self-reflect but also be careful to not withdraw or stay here too long. Now, it could also be that you or you are dealing with somebody that is very much on the defense and they're in the defense mode and maybe that's why the hermit is here because they're withdrawing. But I think what's important here with the Page of Wands, as I said, that this is your time to to kind of, as we said earlier, grow and let go. Uh, this is finding your path. Um, this is also, to me, very much the new a new beginning. Um, this is exploration. This is kind of being that free spirit and um, that creativity, that passion, that enthusiasm. And I feel like you are moving away from possibly hibernating um, and being on this kind of, you know, the defense mode can be very positive. You may be up against a battle that you have to defend. But for some of you, it's not that way. It's quite the opposite. That it's time to kind of let this go. Uh, this, in, you know, being like an introvert. Starting on your new pathway. And we are moving from, see, being in the hermit stage. Um, where we're so introverted, we're moving, and this happened earlier, moving on to a new path, moving away from that which has been defensive or has made us a recluse, and we are now learning and we are moving towards the light, because to me, and as I said this before with the Hierophant, that the Hierophant to me can definitely represent the Pope, can represent a, a religious or spiritual figure, whatever your beliefs are, but you're gaining knowledge. You are moving from the darkness to the light. And you, I, I see this as um, you are, will be learning some new information or something new about a situation, about a person, or even possibly about yourself. So knowledge is key. And, you know, oftentimes the Hierophant, this can represent like a community to me or a group of people, can represent institutions. Yes, it can definitely represent also a boss, but... I see it as moving towards the light and finding balance in your life, especially with the columns here. So it's, you know, it's very positive, I think, with the hermit to get insight, you know, to do some soul searching. But this also represents wisdom being gained. It's not gained overnight, but it's new progress or a new path is forming here. So maybe that's why the let go card is here. Maybe some of you have kind of been hibernating um, or kind of on the defense mode for a reason, a very good reason. 
And, um, but I feel like there is a new opportunity that is coming in. This may also represent new love that is coming in. Um, and maybe that's why you kind of had to become the hermit and maybe why you were a bit defensive because something has, you know, ended. I mean, these two nines are the very end of a cycle. So maybe something is has ended and you're beginning to get back on your path of fertility, especially I'm focused on these rabbits. Um, I see fertility and growth and expansion. Knowledge will be key. You are going to be learning something that will kind of set yourself free and you'll be able to let go of it if you choose to. You know, we all have free will to, you know, a big degree. So, all right, let's see in terms of love, if this brings up any kind of clarity uh, regarding a love message. So love for February 12th, a love message. What are the messages or any insight regarding love for February 12th? I am being drawn to this card right here. No idea why. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. What a beautiful card. You know, and I'm very much focused not just on the greenery once again, with which to me represents growth. This green and a little bit of pink also reminds me of the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. And I'm also getting, um, I, I heard we reap what we sow. I don't know if that's a saying for somebody that I, that you often, um, say to people or maybe people say to you, uh, you know, what goes around comes around. So karma may have a play in all this. But I'm also getting the law of attraction. And I feel like you are letting go. You are moving from this darkness to the, to the light. Mother nature may have some importance to you. And I feel like you are also taking time out to stop and smell the roses. And rose, the name, the, 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 the name or the word rose, may have some um, meaning to somebody because I'm picking up on that. But you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So oftentimes, you know, when we're not feeling well or when we're in this defensive state, <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, that for me feels like somebody may be is trying to communicate with somebody uh, or they're feeling like they don't have a voice and so they're on the defense. Uh, there may also be needing something to be cleared in the throat chakra so you feel like you do have a voice. Maybe um, let me just look here. You know, with the hermit in the challenge position, maybe some of you have really, let me uh, lower this, um, have withdrawn um, to find your voice is another message that I'm getting. But there's an opportunity for love here. Oftentimes with the Hierophant, this can represent my marriage card. So it could possibly be that uh, you are, are on the path to finding love or something that may lead to love or a marriage down the road, or maybe that you are contemplating allowing love and you're opening up spiritually. I feel like something spiritual, possibly religious, whatever your beliefs are, are going to help you set the tone and find your way from, um, <clears throat> wow, you know, on your, on the path, 
that um, will lead you to something very beautiful. You know, so interesting. We've had so many nines. Uh, it, and I've had the hairpin here in this exact same position within, I think, the last 10 days. It's amazing how really the guides speak with these messages and with these two nines. The nines represent fruition, fulfillment, attainment, abundance. It is it is out there. It is in reach. Um, if you believe in go in God, I just heard let go and let God. That's what I heard. So, uh, but if you don't interpret that in just letting go, and um, and you will, I feel, be set on a path or course that is right for you. And do not compare yourself to others because when you do that, you diminish your own self. That's a message I just heard. So I hope this reading helps you. Again, happy birthday if you were born on February 12th. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.